Hello, okay friends, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at my Blooming Signochi's Pineapple Popcorn. If this is your first time watching my video, my channel is all about orchids. From what orchids I have, how I grow them, my thoughts on certain orchid topics, to what orchids are blooming in my sunroom, etc. So if you want to follow along my orchid hobby adventure, consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification. As many of you know, it was only recently that I finally purchased my first catacetinate type orchids from Sunset Valley Orchid. And for the longest time, my heart really goes to Phalaenopsis. And I still feel Phalaenopsis is my fav favorite orchid type because the flowers are just so wonderful and they last forever. <laughs> but at some point, I really think that trying new things in my case here, trying new orchids from another orchid family type would broaden and deepen my orchid experience. So I joined the club. I did a video when I first got them sometime in November last year. So I shared their names with you in that video. I basically was introducing them and, and really show them how they look like when I got them. At the time, they were all still having lots of green leaves and I put them in clay pot just so that they won't be wobbling because they tend to be really top heavy. And then um, I quickly realized that one of the, one of the um, orchid was um, actually uh, in spike and had two buds. So that was kind of a nice surprise. But then I did another video just to show you that they started to drop their leaves as they go into their winter dormancy, or some people call that period, the rest period, which is really what you're seeing here. Um, this video really is when the temperature in my area dropped significantly and it was very windy. And as you see, there were already some leaves dropped on the liner of my growing shelf. At the time, I had windows open because I want my orchids, all my orchids to experience the temperature drop. And also for better ventilation, I do that from time to time, even though I lose some humidity, some, um, but I do gain fresh air, right? And as you see here, there were two buds. The smaller bud blasted as expected, um, but the big, the bigger bud, you know, eventually boom like you see. For those of you who are also new to this type of orchid like myself, yellowing leaves and dropping leaves are totally normal behaviors of this type of orchid in late fall and early winter as they go into their dormancy. And with little water or even no water at all, depending on how shriveled their pseudobulbs are, you pretty much just need to leave them alone, let them be, until their new growths are leafing out and are with roots of three inches or longer to start gradually introducing more and more water leading up to summer and fall, which is when they're in active growth and are requiring lots of water and lots of fertilizer. Today's video is obviously about the one that's blooming, but here are the three that are currently in its dormant stage. And that this is how I basically handle them. They are just at the bottom, the very bottom of my growing shelf. And as they drop their leaves, I just, you know, do nothing with them. They do re still receive some, some sunlight, but I pretty much just let them be. Um, but next, picture I kind of move them around a little bit because I want to show you the two that are in the front right now um, that they are actually having new growth coming out and the new growth as you can see from um, a closer shot there are new growth coming out on the sides of these two plants but this is still too early to do anything with them because they are not leafing out yet and there are no significant roots coming out of these new growth. So based on my research, this is when I still do nothing until I see the new growth become slightly 
taller and that the leaves are spreading out with good roots. That's when I water. But I think these two orchid, this, these two are beginning to coming out of its winter dormancy slowly as we are approaching um, February. And this is the last one that's not growing new growth yet, but already have all the leaves dropped. And you can see on the far left, that's the biggest suitable. But then this is a really young plant because there is a very tiny little old suitable that's between the second growth and the name tag. So this is a really young plant. So it's it has lots of potential if I take good care of it or take it, give it the right care. And I'm still learning, but you know I'm just really excited that this they are part of my collection right now. From this point on until the end of the video is all about the, the orchid that is currently in bloom. What I did was that once the buds started to open, I basically took one picture a day to document how the flower opened up. I cannot take credit for this flower because it came, this orchid came in spike and with two buds. The smaller bud blasted, like I said, but the bigger bud, all I did was basically did nothing. I did not move around the, the orchid a lot to avoid um, butt blast. And now we have a flower to enjoy. Again, I cannot take credit for it, but I'm so happy that it's blooming because the fragrance is just amazing. Even though it reminds me of the air freshener from for our bathrooms or toilet, but in a good way, right? It's very strong and, and it's really sweet and I don't know how to do I have always been really bad at describing smell, but it's so fragrant. It's just a lovely flower to be to, 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 to have in bloom. And it's actually really big as well. Later you're gonna see one of the pictures that I put my hands behind the flower. It's actually about half of the size of my palm. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions for me or any comment, please comment down below and I will talk to you in my next video. Ciao, everybody.